cyclist stabbed at Fort Klapperkop and crash owner apologizes for racial segregation. I am Andrea Kuzel for Record Newspapers, looking at the top stories for today. A 55-year-old cyclist was stabbed several times when he was robbed at Fort Klapperkop. Sunnyside police said the man was riding his mountain bike around 6 on Sunday morning when he was approached by two men. They pulled him off his bike and demanded his cell phone. The man was stabbed six times. The robbers managed to flee with a cell phone valued at 16,000 rand. No arrests have been made and the police are investigating the case. The owner and principal of the Crash Mini Me Academy in Pretoria East, Johan Badenort, has apologized for what seemed like racial segregation when children of different races performed in different concerts. The crash had two concerts for black and white children last week, for which disgruntled parents alleged racial discrimination. Badenort said it was a mistake as he was trying to accommodate the Afrikaans children and their parents. The school has 165 children, 35 of which are Afrikaans. Seven of the classes are English, one Afrikaans and another for smaller children. He said the school would take measures to integrate the children, even though the English and Afrikaans classes were on different sides of the campus. DA mayoral candidate for the Tswane Metro, Solim Simanga, took a ride on the Tswane bus services on Tuesday morning to experience the service firsthand. He said that there is a lot of work waiting for them when they take over the metro next year and that they need to get a feel of what residents are going through every day. Msimanga said the bus ride was part of his party's November month theme, Transport. After listening to comments and complaints from commuters, Msimanga said the DA wanted a card system to which commuters can load money and use as needed. He said the DA wanted to extend the service to cover areas such as Harankua, Mabupane, Soshanguve, Atridgeville, Amanskoral and Mamalodi. That brings us to the end of today's top stories. For more information, visit Record Online. We'll bring you more Capital City news tomorrow. Be informed. Read Record.